Amen. What a blessing it is to be able to come back into your homes. Another beautiful Sabbath day. Amen. Just to brag on Jesus for a while. And we're glad today that you had the program tuned in. And amen. We just want to take time and thank each one that views the program every week. And amen. We hope and pray that it's a blessing. Amen. And you pray for us today as we. Uh, uh, try a couple songs for you and then get into the preaching of God's Word. We hope and pray that something is said or done today that, amen, might be an uplift to you, amen, might help you along life's journey, amen. So I'm glad today, thank God, that there's something special about the Lord, and boy, whenever he begins to live on the inside, what a difference he can make, amen. So I want you to listen to the uh, words of this first song, I know that Jesus still lives. Do you know that he's alive today, amen? Is he living within your heart? Amen. Are you giving him the praise and the honor and the glory that he deserves? Amen. Listen to the song as we try to sing it for you today. I've never been to the place where Jesus was born. I was unable to hold him. seen it, but it don't make much difference, you see. No, I wasn't there, but I know that Jesus is living in me. For I've got something that makes me know that He's real. I'm born of His Spirit, and I know in my heart He lives. Sacrifice for all men, and his word leads you from all sin. I wasn't there, but I know that Jesus still is. I wasn't there when they led my dear Savior away. On Calvary, they nailed him cross that day from the manger to the cross to a lonely old grave Jesus died and arose the third day I wasn't there but I know that Jesus still lives for I've got something that makes me know that he's real I'm born of His Spirit, and I know in my heart He lives. The sacrifice for all men, and His blood cleans me from all sin. I wasn't there, but I know that Jesus still lives. For I've got something that makes me know that I'm born of His Spirit and I know in my heart He lives. The sacrifice for all men and His blood cleans me from all sin. I wasn't there but I know that Jesus still lives. The sacrifice for all men and His blood me from all sin. I wasn't there, but I know that Jesus still lives. Amen, amen. Boy, ain't you glad that you can know, amen, that he's alive and well and living in your heart. Amen. Boy, I tell you, today there is nothing like knowing him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. And I'm so glad today Thank God that I'm saved and on my way to heaven, and I hope and pray that you are too. And if not, I hope and pray there's something said today, amen, that might make, make you change your mind, amen, about this man called Jesus. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer, amen. We're going to ask Brother Jimmy today, if he would, to lead us off in a word of prayer. Dear Lord, we just ask you to bless this service as uh, 
the pastor preaches today, Lord, may it touch someone's heart out in TV world, Lord, and bless everybody that's watching, Lord, and help them to uh, hear this word and help it make a difference in their life, dear Lord. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ and for his sake. Amen. 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 We uh, want to take a little bit of time and thank the ones that have uh, helped on the broadcast, the ones that has been given to support the ministry, and we hope and pray that, uh, thank God, you have received a blessing for that. Amen. We'd love to hear from you this week. Amen. Uh, my mailing address is 2507. Amen. Olivia Road, Sanford, North Carolina, zip code 27332. I've been thinking about that all week, and I got it right today. Amen. Amen. So if you get a time, uh, get a chance just to sit down and drop us a line. Amen. And let us know if you're enjoying it or not. And Amen. And boy, I'm telling you, we'd love to pray with you. Amen. Love to pray for you. So we're going to try another song before we get into the announcements. Amen. You know, life is short. Amen. There's only a few steps, even if we live to be a hundred years old, there's only a few steps between here and the grave compared to eternity. Amen. The title of this next song is Here Today and Gone Tomorrow. And boy, how true that title is. You could be here today and enjoying life and be gone tomorrow, amen, and starting that walk in eternity. And boy, I'm telling you, if you start eternity without the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you're going to be in a pile of trouble, amen, because he's the one that give us the right, amen, that we can have life and have it more abundantly, amen. And all the thing we have to do is to call upon him today. And boy, what a beautiful day it would be this morning, amen, just to call up on him and amen, ask him to come into your heart and come into your life and, and to save you and to rescue you, amen, and to write your name down in the Lamb's Book of Life to where you'll have a home to go to one day after a while, amen. So you pray for us as we try this other song and then we're going to let her make a few of her announcements, okay? I keep watching for the dawning of tomorrow When we'll meet our blessed Savior in the sky All the troubles of today will then be over For God will wipe all the teardrops from our eyes We're here today We'll be gone tomorrow, and this life won't even be a memory. We're here today. We'll be gone tomorrow, where we'll praise the Lord throughout eternity. Today we're getting ready for the final journey And I'm making plans to leave in my new home Soon those eastern skies will bloom with clouds of glory And at the sounding of the trumpet we'll be gone We're here today We'll be gone tomorrow, and this life won't even be a memory. We're here today, we'll be gone tomorrow, where we'll praise the Lord throughout eternity. Where we'll praise the Lord throughout eternity. Amen, amen. We hope and pray that you enjoyed the songs today. Amen. You pray for her. She uh, uh, gives out the announcements today. Like Daryl finally got it right, we'd like to invite you to come out to the church. It's 2507 Olivia Road in Sanford, North Carolina, 27332. Our Sunday school is at 10. Our morning worship is at 11. Our Sunday night service is at 5 p.m. Our Wednesday night is at 7 p.m. 
we will be having revival starting September the 11th through the 15th at 7 p.m. nightly with Brother Gene Thomas from Center Baptist Church in Canada, North Carolina. If you're in the area, we'd love for you to stop by and join us. There's going to be a lot of good preaching and singing and, and just a good time in the Lord. Also, uh, just to give you a heads up, we are going to have our annual barbecue plate sale, and it's going to be on October the 21st. I will get into more details in just a little, a little later on, but I would like for you to mark your calendars and come out and be <coughs> with us. And thanks to everyone who has donated to the Blessing Box and to the ones who's taken the food out of the Blessing Box, I just want to say we appreciate you and we hope that you're getting a blessing out of it. And we do have some CD, CDs and DVDs and tracks in the Blessing Box for you to go ahead and take. Also, the prayer box is right beside of it. And if you have a prayer request, just feel free to drop your prayer request into the prayer box. It is locked, so nobody else can get into it. Uh, honey? Hey, Amen. What a, what a blessing it is to be back in your homes again this morning. Amen. And we have uh, one piece of scripture that we want to read to you today. And, amen. The Lord has sort of laid a little thought up on our heart. Amen. And, that we want to share with you today. But over in the book of John in chapter number 7, amen, down in verse number 46, amen, there's a little bit of history in behind this verse that we'll try to cover just a little bit, amen. But over in John chapter number 7 and verse number 46, the officers answered, never man spake like this man. Amen. Listen to this one more time. The officers answered, never man spake like this man. Amen. Let us pray. Father, dear Lord, it's again God that we come to you with humble hearts, thanking you, Lord, for this day, thanking you, Father, for another opportunity, Lord, of being here today, God. And Father, we pray, Lord, that you would bless, Lord, the words, God, as they come out today. And Father, dear Lord, that you would touch the hearts of lives of men and women, God, that have this program tuned in. Lord, we pray today, God, that it would be an encouragement to someone, Lord, be a, be a spirit, God, that would lift them up. And Father, dear Lord, we pray today, God, if there's one that out there today that is lost without you, Lord, that is tuning this way, God, that they'll come to the realization, Lord, of how much, God, that they need you in their life. And Lord, how we thank you today, Lord, for being God. We pray, Lord, if we've done or said anything throughout this week, God, that would hinder this in any way, Father, that you would forgive us of it, Lord, pull us up close to the cross, and God, make preaching and teaching easy today, Father, and Lord, above everything, Lord, that your name be lifted up, God, because thou art so worthy, and Lord, Father, how we thank you today, Lord, for what you're getting ready to do here in this program, and God, how we praise you, Lord, for your almighty power, and God, have your way, Lord, in everything, God, that is said and done, and Father, whatever's accomplished, Lord, will not fail, God, to bow our head, and Lord, to give you the praise, and God, because we ask Ask it all in Jesus' holy and precious name. We do pray, and amen, and amen. You know, if we had a uh, little thought to lay upon this today, I'd like to use just for a few minutes of time, amen, that no man ever spoke like Jesus, amen. Boy, I'm telling you what, whenever the world, amen, received Jesus into the world, they had uh, uh, somebody today, amen, that they had never had before, amen, and brother, I'm telling you today as he'd come along the shores and amen he would come in and he would feed the hungry and amen he would heal the sick and amen this scene and even the uh, winds would obey his voice and the storms amen of life would obey his voice and these people had, had never seen anything like this on this uh, encounter before here in the book of John we realize that amen as he all officers had come up to the temple and there was a division in among the people. They come there uh, with one intention. Amen. And that was to arrest this man called Jesus. Amen. But as he was there in the temple and he was uh, teaching uh, uh, the word of God and as them words come out of his mouth. Amen. This scene and they asked the officers
officers, amen. Uh, why have you not brought him uh, to me, amen, this evening? And they told him, said, we've never heard a man, we've never experienced anybody uh, that has spoke like this man has, uh, amen. And boy, I'm telling you what, I'm glad today, uh, amen, that he is still speaking uh, uh, with, the th uh, with the same authority uh, he is that he spoke back then, amen. I want to look at some things today. We find number one, amen, that his words, amen, that he spoke, amen, they were the spirit of life, amen. This senior honey, he could even go out to the graveyard and with his voice raise Lazarus up out of the dead, amen. He was able, thank God, through the spirit of his voice to cause the demons to come out of the legion, amen. Boy, I'm telling you, his words had power in behind them, but they not only had power, but he had the authority to give life, amen. And I'm glad today, thank God, that his words are as powerful today as what they'd ever be. And I'm glad that his words is able to reach in and to penetrate the heart of lost men and women and let them see how much uh, that he loves them uh, and that he cares for them, honey. Uh, and might I tell you today, never before uh, have they ever been anybody uh, uh, that spoke like Jesus did. Amen. Not only that, but we find today that his words come with a force and a power. Amen. Boy, I'm telling you, they had power in behind it whenever he spoke. Amen. Whenever he commanded. Amen. This evening we find that, amen, that nature had to change its course. Amen. We read about a lady over in the book of Mark. Amen. That had an issue of blood. And boy, I'm telling you, she had spent everything she had running back and forth to the doctors. Amen. And boy, when they got done, it was as bad or not even, maybe even have been a little worse, amen, than what she was when she started going, amen, but you know who she heard about? She heard about this man called Jesus, amen, and brother, I'm telling you today, she said in her heart and in her mind, if I can only get, amen, to where I can touch the hem of his garment, amen, I know that I will be made whole, amen, and boy, she pushed her way through the multitude, amen, and as he come by, as she was able to reach down and to touch, amen, the hem of his garment, amen, and he fell, the virtue go out of his body, amen, and he turned and he looked, and he said, who has touched me, ain't you glad today, amen, that boy, their power, thank God, in this man called Jesus Christ, you remember the old boy at the temple, amen, when Peter and him come out, and they said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have in the name of Jesus, rise and walk. Amen. Boy, I'm telling you, even today in this old sin, cursed world that we live in and wickedness is abounding more every day. Their power in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm glad. I thank God, honey, that he is still able to reach down and to save and to convict souls of men and women. I'm glad today that they ain't never been another one able to speak like him. Amen. This scene and not only that but his words amen that he spoke it would pierce the soul. Amen. Boy I'm glad today when he told the Pharisees and the Sadducees he said the outside of the cup is clean but the inside is dirty. Amen. How that he was able to read the hearts of men and women. Amen. To know where they was at and to know what they needed and boy I'm telling you what he is still doing that today and we see that first hand in our church sometimes when the word of God goes out it'll pierce the soul amen it'll cause that soul to strive within itself amen and they know that there's so 
something there uh, that they're missing. I'm glad. Uh, amen. That is said in the book of Hebrews. Uh, and my word is quick and powerful uh, and sharper uh, than any two edged sword. Uh, amen. His word still cuts uh, asunder. Amen. Uh, and his word not only does that, uh, uh, but his word also saves. Uh, it also redeems. Uh, it also heals. Uh, it also gives life. Uh, amen. It is able uh, to give life where they ain't any. Uh, he's able to rescue the perishing uh, and to help the helpless. Uh, amen. How does he do it? Uh, by and through the word of God. Uh, amen. Because his word uh, has never changed. His word uh, has life uh, and it has the power uh, and the ability uh, uh, to change your life today. Uh, if you'll just believe in him uh, and call upon him today. Amen. His words also brought life. Amen. To the soul and joy to the heart. Amen. Boy, I, I look around today. Amen. At our country, I look around. Amen. At a lot of our churches today. Amen. This evening, there's a lot of people traveling on this journey. Amen. That don't have a bit of joy. Amen. There's a lot of people today. Amen. This evening, that soul is a searching for something. Amen. They might be somebody sitting on the couch today. Amen. Or thinking in your own self, if I could just change. Amen. If I could just change directions. If I could just change the way I think about things. If I could just change my heart. Amen. Listen today. Boy, there's one today that is able to do that for you. He's able to come in. Amen. This evening. And he's able to redeem that soul. Amen. Save that soul from a burning hell. And he's able to fill it with the joy and the peace. Amen. That only comes with God. Amen. Boy, ain't you glad today that Jesus is still real? Ain't you glad that his word is still mighty? Amen. Hey, been more books wrote about him, amen, than any other uh, book in the world, amen. And it's one of the least read books, amen, in the world today. It'll sit on coffee tables week in and week out, amen, and people will pick it up and they'll head out to the house of God, amen, with dust on the Bible. Honey, might I tell you today, what we need to do is blow the dust off, amen, and get into God's Word and see what He has to say, amen. Boy, I'm telling you, these soldiers, they said, boy, we have never seen in our life a man that would speak with such authority. Amen. He didn't only speak with authority, but he spoke with grace. Amen. And boy, I'm telling you what that grace of God uh, is what brings us under the understanding uh, that we're lost and undone without God. Uh, amen. They would be no salvation uh, if they wasn't grace. Amen. Uh, I'm glad, thank God. God that Ephesians said uh, we are saved by the grace of God uh, uh, not of ourselves, lest any man should boast uh, it is a gift of God amen I'm glad uh, amen that I didn't get what I deserved uh, but I got what I didn't deserve amen and there's the benefits of knowing him uh, and the free pardon of sin amen uh, and boy I'm telling you today he spoke of that grace uh, and he didn't only speak in authority uh, and speak in grace but he spoke in wisdom. Amen. He's the only man upon the face of the earth that know the past know the present, know the future and know what tomorrow holds. Amen. This evening and he know the hearts and the minds of every individual that lived upon the face of the earth. Am I today? He knows where you're at and he knows what that heart stands in need of today. So think about this. Uh, uh, brother, they never had been a man uh, uh, that spoke like Jesus had. Uh, uh, that spoke with his authority. Uh, uh, that spoke with his compassion. Uh, uh, that spoke with the love that he had. Uh, and spoke with the wisdom uh, and the grace. Amen. Uh, ain't you glad today? Thank God uh, uh, that he loves you and he wants to save you uh, and wants to redeem your life. This man today that they seen in the book of John, amen, he's still alive and well. Amen, he's sitting on the right hand of the Father. His word is still going out. 
Amen. As these words went out this morning, these words, amen, that we preached up on today, they might have pierced your heart. They might have pierced your soul. Amen. This evening you might be sitting there at the table. Amen. Sitting there in the recliner. And you might be halted in between two decisions. Amen. You might be saying, I know what I need to do. Amen. I need to pack my family up. I need to get in the house of God this morning. And I need this man called Jesus to come into my heart and come into my life. Brother, I'm telling you today, had to be the best decision that you've ever made on this side of eternity. Amen. These officers, amen, didn't know what to do with him. This world today, amen, don't know what to do with him. Amen. They've tried to get rid of him. They've tried to tear everything down that he's built. Amen. They took the commandments down off of the courthouse wall. They took prayer out of the schoolhouse. Amen. This scene of but God is still just as real as he ever was. Amen. And his word is still just as powerful as it ever was. Amen and his word is able to convict our hearts, amen, and boy you'll find out today if you love him, amen, and fall in love with him that never before has a man ever spoke like this, so today, amen let him speak to your heart, amen let him speak to your life let him come into your heart and life today, and lift that old burden of sin, amen, let him take that red blood, amen and wash that old black heart amen, become as white as snow Oh, they done an experiment in children's church the, yesterday. Amen. And my wife had told the little ones back there that you can take red and white. Amen. A red and black and mix it together and it'll never turn white. And they had little old kids over our color. And, amen. You're doing the red and the black together and it never did turn white. But only God is able to do that. Amen. When he applies that red blood to our black heart. Amen. Then that heart becomes white snow so today amen make preparations amen to get in the house of God make preparations to let this man called Jesus uh, come into your heart and come into your life and be an uplift to you amen today he's a wanting to save you and if these words uh, if this message has pierced your heart uh, and pierced your soul uh, look to the one thank God that sent it uh, and his name is Jesus and he'll do something for you that man will never be able to do. He'll save you and forgive you of your sins and cleanse you up and put you on your way to heaven. God bless you till this time next week.